What's up trainers, Professor Chris here, and I am here to show you guys my Mega Houndoom EX deck um, that you saw the deck profile of not too long ago. Um, at the end of the video, I teased that I would get to show you guys some of the matches, and um, here we are. So I'm, I'm planning to do three matches um, throughout the course of this video, and um, a little background. So um, when I played this at League, I went ahead and did my League challenge, and or the gym battle challenge, and I went 4-0 and at League with this deck. And then at the end of my last trainer play stream to celebrate um, finishing the, the Johto region, um, I went ahead and played live with a few of you guys and also went undefeated with this deck. Um, so I'm going to explain some of my strategy in here, and um, I hope that you guys get as much out of it um, as you're hoping, because I really think that Mega Houndoom has a lot of potential in the format. It's so fast, um, and again, not many people are playing the cards that they need to in order to uh, counteract it. So, looks like this guy's playing a uh, some sort of fighting deck. Uh, he also has his Lucario coin here. Um, he's going to be the one calling the coin flip. So, let's hope he calls it and not just let it sit there, like may very well happen. Okay, there we go. We won the coin flip. Uh, he picked heads, so um, Houndoom will always want to go first. Um, that has been my, um, you know, what I've picked up on thus far in playing the deck. So, um, looks like we're going to be on with a Zubat start, but that's not bad because we have the Battle Compressor and the Versus Seeker combo to get any supporter that we want. Um, so that's going to be great when it comes to uh, to this deck. So we'll go ahead and play the Acrobike first. Um, let's see, Scorched Earth or Sycamore. Uh, we're actually going to want to discard that Sycamore. I can even pull that out with the Versus Seeker if need be. Um, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do here at this time is play the Battle Compressor. I'm going to get a few of those Fire Energies um, in the discard pile. Um, and then I'm already going to be discarding a Blacksmith with that uh, Sycamore that I'm going to pick up. So instead, I'll pick something that's more utility. Um, so it looks like he's not playing a ton of abilities. Um, so I'm going to pick up something like Giovanni's Scheme in order to do that 20 extra damage um, when I need it. So let's see. Uh, play that Scorched Earth. I'm going to go ahead and Versus Seeker for this Sycamore. And hopefully this lets us jump ahead of the game just a little bit. So let's see. Drawing in. Um, OK, not too much good. Um, I got my Lit Leo and Pyroar. Oh, here we go. Houndoom. That's what we need. We need at least one of those guys, so um, toss the Houndoom. Let's go ahead and attach one of these Burning Energies so that next turn, um, when we hopefully Mega Evolve, we'll be able to um, to attack. So let's see. I'll go ahead and throw out my second Battle Compressor. I happen to get two of them on the first turn. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and toss out a few of these supporters. Um, ones that I'm just really going to be hunting for. Um, with the Versus Seeker. So I'll go ahead and discard this Hex Maniac as well, um, since I probably won't be needing you know, very much of it, and I don't really want to draw into it. So I'll go ahead and just end my turn. I'll save that switch. Um, so in case I can't evolve the Zubat, I'll at least be able to get the Houndoom up and ready to roll. So let's see. So he's running a Lucario deck. Um, he's probably going to be looking for um, that Machamp in order to increase his damage by 20. Um, this Lucario actually has a lot of potential. For those of you that watch the old League vlogs, that's what I used to run. I used to run a Lucario deck, and um, it really works well. It's uh, it's a little slow on the startup, so I think that Houndoom has the advantage here in that I can do as much damage as I need to um, in just two turns. So, let's see. He's played that Karina. Okay. So he's got another Lucario. It's going to go ahead and Missile Jab, uh, knock out the Zubat, that's totally fine. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw up my Houndoom, and I want to keep this Pyroar safe down here. So, let's go ahead and drop it down. Um, let's see, ooh, I'm in an unfortunate spot, because as you can see, I already discarded one of my Houndooms, thanks to that uh, uh, Sycamore early on, so I'm just going to take this opportunity. Um, you know, he's not going to be doing a whole lot of damage anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve and just let that happen. So we'll 
we'll see. Okay, so now he's got a second fighting energy, which means he can use um, that corkscrew smash um, to 60 damage, 80 with his uh, muscle band there. Uh, thankfully, he didn't have a rare candy in order to uh, make this Machoke into a Machamp, and he'd be doing 100 damage uh, for two energy. But I still think we should be able to be all right. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get this one. Unfortunately, I didn't have the best of starts, as you can see, um, but thankfully, I'm still very much at the advantage. So, uh, at this time, I'm just going to want to get a Sycamore. I'm sure I'll draw into some energy that I need, and hopefully some of the bats uh, to get that extra damage that I'll need. So, okay, so thankfully, <clears throat> here's that energy, but first I'm going to get the Acro Bike. Um, let's see, I can get a Shaman, um, so that may be something useful. I'll go ahead and take that. Um, I'll play down the Zubat. Um, I think at this point I'm actually going to go ahead and Ultra Ball for, let's see, I'll discard this Scorched Earth and the Crobat in order to pick up a Hoopa. And typically what I'll do when I get a Hoopa is I get a Mega Houndoom, a regular Houndoom, and a Shaman. And I'll just go ahead and pick all those up. So I'll go ahead and attach. Um, let's see, I'll attach this energy, and I'll play the Shaman for good measure. Ooh, beautiful. So I got that Houndoom Spirit Link, so I'm all set up for next time. I have another Burning Energy, um, which is going to be fantastic, so I'm just going to go ahead and Inferno Fang. And as you can see, I'm planning on drawing into a Golbat my next turn, so I can do the last bit of damage that I need to him, and then be able to attack something else um, in a little bit later on. Let's see. Okay, so now he's got that Machamp out, so he's going to be doing 20 more damage. Um, let's see. Although, even if he can get that Somersault kick off, let's see. Ooh, no, he, 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 uh, he will be KOing me, so we'll see where it goes. Thankfully, I have this Houndoom right here um, that hopefully I should be able to Mega Evolve and get fully powered up with a Mega Turbo or something to that effect uh, on the next turn, even if he does knock out the Houndoom. Let's see. So he's opted to put that muscle band on his other Lucario. Starting to get him powered up here. He's got a Regirock that does 120 to EXs. Um, let's see. So he does have that and he does get the KO. But that's okay. I'm feeling fairly confident in this. So I'm going to be able to revenge kill. So let's see. So we already have that Spirit Link attached. Um, I'll go ahead and Mega Evolve now. Let's see, we know we're going to want the burning energy, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw that there. Um, I'll opt to use my Shaman first, and that way, once I... Let's see here. There we go. So that way I'm not wasting anything else. So, okay, so I'm still not hitting any of that uh, other... Any of those Mega Turbos that I need, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the Golbat here. Oh, which is all I have already. And let's see, I'll go ahead and evolve there and that will let me knock out his Lucario and I'm sure he's gonna stick up his other Lucario um, which is totally fine okay so there's that mega turbo that I need oh he did not okay well that's just fine with me so I'll go ahead and throw up the mega turbo get this attached on right here and let's see I think I know what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna go ahead and versus seeker I'm gonna get a blacksmith I'm going to use that Blacksmith in order to get Fire Energy onto this Pyroar here. And I'm not scared of the Regirock. I am scared of the Lucario. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. Boom. And then I'll go ahead and attack with this Inferno Fang. Alright, so now he's looking at a Lucario with no energy, um, just a muscle band, a uh, Regirock, and a Machamp. So even Max, he's only going to be able to do 70 damage to me this turn, so I'm just going to be able to KO him right back. And if he retreats, I can just pull him right back with this Pyroar here, so we'll see what he opts to do. Alright, so he's opted to discard that Fighting Energy. Unfortunately, the, scorch, the Scorched Earth can benefit your opponent, um, 
but that's okay because you don't run into too many other fire or fighting decks at least in standard you don't so that's what I'm playing right now is just standard okay so he did get up to that 70 damage but that's okay I'm just gonna go ahead and attach here and this could be something a little fun so I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna pull up that Lucario back here oh no I can one hit KO it so I won't bother at the moment uh, with that oh looks like I have to okay well it looks like I'm doing that anyway so I'm gonna pull up that other Lucario and one hit KO it using Giovanni's scheme looks like my uh, my hands went ahead of my brain there for a moment but that's okay this way I get to one hit KO and get to show you guys the real power of Mega Houndoom Boom. Okay, so there's my birch. I would have liked to see that earlier on. I probably would have discarded it with one of those battle compressors, so I didn't have to discard my Mega Houndoom so soon. But uh, that's okay, you know. Um, and thankfully, I'll just be able to use that flare command again to pull up um, that other Lucario here. So uh, this Regirock is not going to be able to knock me out, um, regardless of what he does. So there's no way he's, he can attach a double colorless energy and a fighting energy. Um, and even if that. And he had a muscle band. Um, or no, if he had the muscle band, it would be enough to knock me out. But thankfully, he's not going to be able to get all that energy on him. So I'm not too afraid at the moment. So it looks like... So he opts to attach another energy to that Lucario. Um, we'll see what he's up to in a second here. Alright, and we have it. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this fire energy to the Pyroar. I'm going to use that Flare Command ability to pull up that Lucario. Free Lysander. Gotta love it. And we'll just go ahead and attack. Do that extra damage. Ba boom Beautiful. So that is one match down. Um, it's... It's a very, very fast deck, and um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have pulled out his other Lucario in retrospect, but it all worked out in the end. So, let's go ahead and move on to match two. Oh, gotta get my little versus reward here first. Woohoo, coins! Alright. Alright, so it looks like this guy has a water and a dark deck, so this could be interesting depending on what he's playing. Um, Tails, always call Tails. Boom. Alright, we'll go ahead and go first again. Oh, I have the hiccups, I apologize. There's lots of hustle and bustle at the house. We have, uh, we had some family over for Thanksgiving, and, uh... It was a lot of fun. Um, I hope that your guys' Thanksgiving was also awesome. Let's see. So it looks like so he mulligan. He has a Tyranno, Trick Shovel, Hex Maniacs, Dark Energy, Double Colorless. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, he mulliganed again. I know he has Flare Grunts now. Two Flare Grunts. Interesting. I wonder what he's running here. Let's see. A Simipore. Let's see. Oh, this is the new Simipore. Interesting. I've never seen that played before curious to see how it goes. Looks like I'm going to be starting with an absolutely huge hand um, because of all these mulligans. Okay, there we go. He started. Uh, I'm, of course, going to throw up that Zubat so I can evolve to Golbat and then just retreat uh, on my next turn. So let's see what we got going on here. see I'm not sure oh there we go he's choosing his bench Pokemon cool and I'll go ahead and just start with my lit Leo because why not all right I will go ahead and draw for some of these mulligans here um, I'll, I'll just do three I don't want it to be terribly unfair okay so it looks like he's got a seismitoad um, so that should be a fun match for this um, I'm going to go ahead and take the Mega Houndoom uh, instead of that Battle Compressor. Let's see, I'm not terribly worried. Um, hmm. I'll go ahead and do the Spirit Link. 
because I will be able to one hit KO that Seismitoad if all goes as planned. So I'll be able to do this and that. Um, let's see, do I want the Hoopa yet? Hmm. I'll go ahead and do the Hoopa. I think I will. And I'll go ahead and search for Houndoom, Shaman, Mega Houndoom. Let's do that, keep it nice and simple. So I will, let's see, get my other Houndoom out here, and I won't worry about the Shaman yet, I'll just have it, just in case, so. Alright, so what we're hoping is that he's not going to be able to Quaking Punch with a Muscle Band on the first turn. If he does, that means that Zubat's kaput and I won't be able to one-hit KO his Seismitoad. But, if he's not able to hit that Muscle Band, which he did, <laughs> okay, but that's fine, that's fine. He may use a Lysander, he may pull something up, we don't know yet. So, let's see, so he's got Trick Shovel, discarding one of my Houndoom Spirit Links, which is unfortunate, uh, but that's okay. I think we're going to be alright. So, let's see what he's got. He hasn't played a supporter yet this turn. Starling Megaphone, so there goes my Spirit Link. Alright, so this is going to look to be a little more interesting match than I uh, initially thought. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and toss the Hoopa up, kind of like a meat shield there. And let's see, okay, I'm going to go ahead and attach fire energy, and I'm just going to Mega Evolve, just make it nice and simple. Now the unfortunate thing is, he already has me on item lock, so the only supporters I'm going to get are not going to come from my battle compressors or versus seekers, I'm going to have to draw into them. Um, I'm not going to be able to use Acrobike, but we do have a source of draw power in this deck that does not rely on items, and that is our Scorched Earth Stadium. Uh, great to keep in mind for when you're playing an item lock deck. So let's see, he also throws a Headringer on me, um, so this is looking to be pretty rough for my very first... Um, my very first turn there, or first set of turns, rather. So he's got another Seismitoad backed up and ready to go. Um, he opts not to attack this turn, which is interesting. Um, not quite sure what his plan is. Um, he may just be trying to... Um, he may just be trying to wait so we can Lysander out one of the Mega Houndooms and then get the Hoopa another way, but I don't mind discarding to retreat the Hoopa because I have things like Mega Turbo to get me that energy back. So we'll have to see what he does. He opts to attach a Darkness Energy to that Seismitoad. I, don't, I wonder if he meant to attach it to this one, because um, the Dark Energy doesn't help him at all on this one. So... He opts to discard my special energy, which is rough, but let's see if we can make it through a rough matchup like this. I bet we can. So he again opts not to um, at um, at attack, so let's see what else we can get. Alright, Houndoom Spirit Link. I'm going to throw it on this Houndoom, so that way we can just ensure that um, he's not going to get head ringered. And I'm going to go ahead and throw out that Sycamore. So, no more Golbats, but I do have a, um, uh, what do we call it, Sacred Ash, so that I can hopefully get some of those back. So, let's see, I better use my Versus Seeker now, so that way, if he does decide to item lock me, it won't be too bad. So, I'm just going to go ahead and Ultra Ball, away the Pyroar, and the... Hmm, let's see here. Let's do the blacksmith. Not too worried about that. And let's go ahead and... Oh, no. Okay. I, for, for some reason, I thought I had another gold bat, but I don't. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a shaman. That way, just in case I need it, I have it. I may end up just Lysandering up his Shaman, uh, so that way he has to stall a little bit. But we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. I'm glad I put the Hoopa there, because now he's not doing anything, and he's allowing me to use items, which is good. Now, I am a little bit at his mercy. Um, in case he Lysanders, he's doing 100 damage to my Houndoom, but hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to be able to hit um, that Sacred Ash on one of these turns that he opts not to Quaking Punch me. 
so I can get my Golbat back. That's that's the goal. That's what we're planning on doing. So let's see, he's gone and evolved the Semipor, and it has an interesting attack. Um, 10 damage times the number of cards in your hand for a double colorless, which is, you know, it's it's okay. Okay, so he's starting to attack my Hoopa now. And let's see what we got. Ultra Ball, I'm going to go ahead and Sycamore. So I only have 15 cards left now, so I really have to start watching my hand. Um, I'm going to see if he will continue to... Ooh, this is what I'm going to do. All right, let's see. There's any poor as a one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and Flare Command, and let's go ahead and pull up that Shaman. Then we'll see if we can't use items, get our Sacred Ash, and clean up that way. That's what I'm hoping. That's the goal. Okay, so he's opted to attach, but that's good because I can just do it again next turn. It's not a big deal. And I have an AZ, which is great. A Tierno. That's so interesting. I don't see people playing uh, Tierno too much anymore. So he trick shovels, discards a Sycamore. That's okay. I wouldn't have used it anyway. And we'll see what he opts to do. Okay, so he does retreat. He's probably going to Quaking Punch again, just so we can keep that item lock up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity. AZ up my Hoopa. And I'll go ahead and attach this Houndoom right here. So, um, let's see. I don't think I'm going to attach to my Pyroar just yet. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and straight up... Oh, I can't attack because of the um, Headringer. That's right. Ooh, what to do, what to do. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and attach this here. I'll use my Inferno Fang and... Boom! Now, thankfully, one of those are going to be coming back to me. So if I can get another Blacksmith, I'll still be able to attack even with that Headringer. I forgot about that. That's one thing I don't like about the update, is you can't actively see what item is on your Pokemon. You have to go over to the little blue box to see. It's not just sitting right above it anymore. It's messed me up more times than not, as you can see. So, okay, yeah, so that one's a Spirit Link. So we're good on the other Hound. <laughs> Thankfully, I do have a switch in case he Lysander something out, so he's probably having to reformulate his strategy a little bit um, since I was able to get that Hoopa out of there. Um, he's more than likely just going to attack with a Quaking Punch, but we'll see. I can't see him doing anything else. Oh, inactive. Don't be inactive. We need to see how this plays out. Oh... Okay, so we don't get to see how that one plays out because he was inactive. Um, so looks like I was coming back a little bit. Um, if I was able to get one turn without a Quaking Punch, then I would be able to get all my Golbats back and all that kind of stuff. So it could have gone either way. I don't know. So let's go ahead and start match three. Let's see if I can go first three times in a row. I won! Yes! Alright, three times in a row. So, yes, we will go first. Ooh, he has Jolteon sleeves. Those are cool. Let's see. No basics. Let's see if we can pick up a basic this time. Zubat and Lilio. <laughs> this seems like I've seen this before. Where have I seen this? Okay. Thankfully, I have the ability to draw right away. I have a Scorched Earth and a Fire Energy. So that's really, really nice. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to Scorched Earth because I don't want to play that Sycamore just yet. Um, oh, mama, this is... This is a tough choice. Whenever I'm faced with not doing anything or playing a Sycamore, I almost always play the Sycamore because if you don't, you're more than likely going to fall behind. So even though I'm discarding two Mega Houndooms, I have the Sacred Ash. He's not playing an item lock deck. Um, so I think I'm going to be able to make it out just fine. Um, 
let's see, I have an Ultra Ball. I already have a Zubat and a Litleo, so I'm just going to go ahead and discard the Scorched Earth and Litleo. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Hoopa. So that way, I can get my Houndooms and all that good stuff out. So, yes! Let's see, I'm going to want a Shaman, a Houndoom, and you guessed it, a Mega Houndoom. Beautiful. Okay, so Houndoom. Uh, I'll throw down the Zubat just because that Zubat's probably going to get knocked out more likely than not. Let's see. Let's see what's in this Acrobike. Uh, fire Energy or an Acrobike? Okay, well, we want Fire Energy in the discard pile, so we'll take the other Acrobike. Let's see. Scorched Earth or Mega Turbo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the Mega... Um, I only have one more scorch, Scorched Earth, so I'm actually going to take that. Um, opt to discard that other Mega Turbo, just so I can make sure I have the draw power for next turn in case he has a Rough Seas, which I'm assuming he's playing with a Manectric EX deck. So, unfortunately, he's able to get what looks like a Headringer onto me uh, right away. So, like I thought, he replaced the, rough, the Scorched Earth with Rough Seas, so it's a good thing that I took the other Scorched Earth. And a Muscle Band. Alright. So, let's see... Yeah, so he's going to knock out the Zubat, like I anticipated, which is totally fine. Um, now I just have to worry about evolving this Houndoom. I'm glad that we got some reasonably compatible, competitive decks to play against that are running things like Shaman and that Seismitoad. Um, I think it just really does a lot to show off the uh, potential of this Houndoom deck. Wish I didn't have to discard that Spirit Link. Ah, uh, oh well. Things happen, right? Let's see, so he played a Sycamore. Let's see, he had to discard one of his Megas. Let's see what I can do. And I have a couple different options. I can pick up Houndoom with AZ. And then that way I can at least get that head ringer off of him, but I don't know if it necessarily does me any good if he could just have another one. But if he did, I'm sure he probably would have thrown it on the Hoopa or Shaman by now. So he opts to get another Manectric. So he does overrun. Let's see what his other target's going to be. If it's Houndoom, I'm definitely picking up with AZ. We'll see what he does, though. Okay, there we go. Okay, yes, it is Houndoom. So I'm definitely going to be picking up Houndoom, um, I believe. So I'll just go ahead and put him in active for now. And we'll see what we got. So I'll go ahead and throw my Scorched Earth down. Um, let's see, I'll go ahead and Battle Compressor. And get that Giovanni Scheme, Birch. And let's do some other kind of, there we go, Blacksmith Utility. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and AZ up this Houndoom. Let's see, I'll just throw up something like this Zubat, keep him occupied. I'll play down Houndoom, go ahead and attach a Burning Energy, and I'll use my Scorched Earth to draw some more cards. Okay, well I got another Houndoom, um, which is good. I'm glad that I got that. I'll go ahead and just let this sit. Actually, no, I want the Zubat there, so there we go, because he's going to knock out that other Zubat no matter what, I guarantee. So, um, we'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to get a supporter here quickly uh, using the Scorched Earth draw. That That's what we're hoping for. That Headringer really did slow me down, um, unfortunately. So he opts to Sycamore. And let's see what he gets. So Manectric Spirit Link, he's going to Mega Evolve. Um, this one has a Muscle Band, so I'm not terribly worried about this Manectric, actually. So, okay, so that one's Mega Evolved. If we can keep that one away, we should be okay. So he has a, an Articuno, so he does have that Water. Um, so that is a weakness of this deck. So we'll see what we do. So this Zuat's going to get knocked out. 
and he goes for the Houndoom again. Okay, I, you know, I get that. So let's see what we got going for us now. So we'll put up Houndoom. Ooh, perfect. Okay, I'll go ahead and use this Golbat. And boom, put 20 damage. And I'm hoping to draw into a supporter or something to that effect. So I'll go ahead and Acrobike. Let's see, Ultra Ball. We can at least get a Shaman this way. Because what we're really looking for is um, one more energy and a Spirit Link. That's what we really need. So I'll Lysander and put away this other Houndoom. Go ahead and Shaman here. So we can just get that other Manectric out of there. Boom, we got it. So I'll go ahead and attach the burning energy. We'll go ahead and evolve. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and Sacred Ash at this time. Let's see. Oh man, this is so good. Okay. Okay, I'll go ahead and get back. Let's see, Crobat, Mega Houndoom, Regular Houndoom. So you probably don't need Leo, being as I saw I only have one Pyroar in there. So I'll just get another uh, Golbat Zubat. Beautiful. Okay, and let's see. I still haven't used my supporter yet, so I, I might use it. Let's see here. I might use it to pull a Sycamore. Or no, a Birch, since I don't want to discard this Burning Energy just yet. Tails, that's okay. It's more than I had. And Pyroar, that's what we want. Okay, now we are thankfully going able, be, going to be able to get this uh, Inferno Fang off. So discarding one hit KO that Manectric. Take our two prize cards, and we'll see how he retaliates. So he's going to do one ten to me, but still going to take him two turns to knock me out. Um, now let's see here. Yeah, depending on what I'm hitting for um, each turn, we'll, we'll see how this goes. So I do have, unfortunately, I had to get that second Shaman in order to get this draw power up for the Houndoom. Um, that's okay. He has a Reg Ice that he's building up. I can play around it thanks to Pyroar. Um, so we'll see how this goes. This is looking a little rough since he's going to have the first hit on me here. Let's see. So he opts to Versus Seeker. Play that Sycamore. Now I may be able to play an interesting game with him. I may be able to get him to deck out before me. Since I have the ability to shuffle my hand back into my deck using that Birch, I may just play around him that way. Okay, Officer that Rough Seas, so that's going to be harder to take him out now. Um, let's see, I may just end up having to play around this Manectric. That may be the goal here. So let's see here, so if I'm 160, 170, 80, 190, still not enough, even if I hit him with the Crobat. So I think what I may do here is... This is hard. This is a hard choice. I'm going to play this versus Seeker. Wait, how many hit points does he have? 210. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, check this out. So I'll get this Giovanni Scheme. Ultra Ball. Um, let's see. I don't need Zubat or Pyroar. Get Crobat. I'll evolve Golbat into Crobat to do 30 damage. Giovanni Scheme to do 20 more damage. Then attack Inferno Fang. Yes. Boom. What? Oh, it did enough. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Yes, it did enough. Okay. Whoo. That was a rough one. Okay. I think we're going to be okay. I think. Because, see, now I can play around this Reg Ice 
and um, I can knock out his shaman. So that's going to be fantastic. So he's, I mean, he's probably going to take me out um, using this resistance blizzard red ice, but that doesn't bother me too much. I should be okay. Okay, so I've used both of my versus seeker. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have sufficient energy. I think this is going to work. So I just have to get that shaman up, and that should be just enough. And what I'm talking about when I say just enough is use this Pyroar. He, he does 110. So I think that should be good. So he has another Manectric out. I'm not too scared of it. So he does Resistance Blizzard. He does hit me for weakness. Knocks me out. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out the Crobat just because, um, you know, I don't have to uh, worry too much about committing there with him. So... I'll go ahead and Versa Seeker. He may catch on to what I'm doing here, but we'll see. I'll go ahead and Blacksmith. Put it on to Pyroar. I'm going to go ahead and use that Flare Command to pull up his Shaman and hope that he um, kind of lets it chill there for a turn or so. I'll keep the Crobat up there for bait since it has that very tempting uh, lightning weakness. So I've only drawn into two of my burning energy, so I have plenty of burning energy left. So if I'm able to get a blacksmith, and if he keeps that shaman up there, I should be able to blacksmith, attach, and be finished with the game. So we'll see what he has in his hand. Let's see what kind of energy he has in his discard pile here. Let's see, so three lightning and one water, and he has two lightning and one water over here. He's probably only running like two more lightning energy or so. so he opts to Lysander, pull up my Pyroar. This isn't looking too good. He has a switch. Resistance Blizzard. That's all right. Go ahead and throw up this Crobat here. Okay, so we got a burning energy. Let's see what we got going for us here. I think I may be done for at this point, but let's see. Oh, I have more Houndoons in there, though. That's what makes this difficult. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... get a birch. That way I can shuffle all these back. Since I'm running so low on cards. I think this may be it for us. We'll see though. We'll see. I would have loved just to pull up his Shaman or something like that, but unfortunately he has me at the advantage at card count. He's going to Lysander at my Houndoom, I'm, I'm certain of it. Resistance Blizzard for 180, so that's the end of the game. So we had one win, one loss, and one um, that really could have gone either way. So, yeah, so that is the wonderful Mega Houndoom EX deck. So we played some rough decks. Um, two of them were my weakness specifically, um, so that was tough to deal with. Um, something I actually haven't done before. I haven't faced a Seismitoad or a Manectric Regice with this deck yet, so for first time... I'd say we're doing pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I look forward to hearing your feedback, and let me know if you decided to build this deck, how it's been working against um, you know, cards like Seismitoad and Regice, things like that. Thank you so much for watching Trainer TV, the Pokemon Lifestyle channel. Remember to go ace on that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and remember, train on.